Howdy my fellow YouTubers, let's just get right into it. Each public event that is flagged on the map can be forced into a heroic event if certain triggers are met. Each event type has its own unique trigger. The Glimmer public event will pit you against the Fallen. There are three locations they will place their drill. The locations are set but the order is randomised. Each drill will have two waves of extractor named Fallen. Defeating these moves the drill to a new location. After a certain amount of time, after the drill has landed, it will activate and produce a blue beam and also spawn a smaller drill in a set location near the drill site. Destroying these smaller drill triggers the event to go heroic and you will be tasked to stand on a pile of glimmer and protect it from waves of enemies. A few tips for this event that I have found are if you miss a small drill in either of the first two locations, then it will spawn at the next location, giving you the chance to destroy it. Some locations have up to four possible drill sites, but only three will be used per event. And due to the randomness of the surrounding spawns to the drill site, this event can be easy or hard to solo as a heroic. Also, if used correctly, the Warcliffe coil is capable of killing the smaller drills in one shot. Here is another quick example of the Glimmer Heroic event. In this, I am mainly doing it as a solo, so my main objective is to destroy the small drills before anything else. As you can see, I work on the drill before I even kill the first wave of enemies to ensure that I will get the Heroic trigger. At this point in the event, I had a clan member join a my fire team and help me complete the heroic event. The Servitor public event is as the name suggests. You have to kill a large Servitor. As you get its health down, it will spawn a yellow bar Servitor nearby and that new Servitor will make the boss immune. You can see a trail from the large Servitor to find the small ones that are making it immune. There will be three waves of yellow bar servitors during the normal version. The first wave spawns one servitor at around two thirds HP remaining. The second wave spawns three servitors at around half HP and the last wave spawns one servitor. The second wave is the heroic trigger and is timed whilst in wave one and three yellow bar servitor stays until it is killed. 
For the heroic trigger, you will need to kill all three yellow bar servitors before they despawn and disappear. Killing them fast enough makes the event heroic. The large elite servitor will now hit harder and attack faster, and its defense increases, reducing your damage. A useful hint is to save your super to ensure the heroic version is triggered by killing the three servitors with it, or saving it till after the event turns heroic to speed up the boss kill. Since plenty of yellow bar enemies spawn during this event, heavy ammo is not hard to find, so you should be able to use your heavy weapon to kill the small and boss servitor with ease. Here is another example of the Servitor Heroic public event. The injection rig event will be full of cabal. The object of this event is to keep killing the elite scions that spawn and after three have been killed, the Valus cabal elite will spawn in and be the final enemy to kill to complete the event. With the heroic trigger, you will need to destroy three different sets of events. The first and second sets are located on the sides of the rig being near the top and another set located above the gaps that allow you to go under the rig. The final set is a random vent that opens up on the centre strut as you go underneath the rig. The vents will only be open at the very start of the event before anyone joins it and after an elite scion has been killed. After the first elite scion has been killed, a cabal shield will appear around the rig. As the vents open up, the engines on the side of the rig start up and burn anything within the shield. The vents close and the engines stop when the next sign spawns in. Regardless of having the event as heroic or normal, killing the elite Follis Cabal will end the event. A couple of useful hints I have found is that if used correctly, the Warcliffe Coil is capable of killing the events in one hit. The second is that the Warlock's Healing Rift ability is capable of counteracting the burning mechanic from the engines. Here is another example of where I use the Warcliffe coil to showcase destroying the vents with ease. If you are able to destroy the three vents fast enough, the only thing remaining will be to kill the elite scions to spawn the boss. You could use this time to kill off some of the yellow bar enemies to get ammo and super energy and prepare for the Valus Gabal boss.
A useful piece of information is that when the boss spawns, a couple of interceptors will spawn with him. If these can get the drop on you, they can cause some serious damage to you, so you may want to focus on these before you kill the boss, as it can make the killing the boss so much easier. For the Taken Blight public event, you are charged with the task of defeating the Blight and any Taken that spawn in. Alongside the main big Blight that spawns in, there will be small Blights that spawn around it with a faint black aura surrounding them. These smaller Blights spawn in Taken enemies and killing enough of them will force the main Blight to move location. When you reach the third location, that will be its final location and continuing to kill the Taken will finish the event. The heroic trigger for this event is simple but can be frustrating. The smaller Blight's black aura is the key. Stepping inside them, then leaving the aura will give you a 5 second buff allowing you to damage the big main Blight. If enough damage is dealt to the main Blight before the event finishes, then an elite taken boss will spawn and the heroic version of the event has been achieved. Killing this elite taken enemy will complete the heroic event. Here is another demonstration of turning the Taken Blight public event to the heroic version. This event will only spawn on the EDZ as shown in the first section or upon IO. Using power weapons, grenades and supers can help trigger the heroic version if you are solo or notice other players not contributing to the heroic trigger. One of the more common public events you may come across is the Fallen Walker event. With this, you will need to destroy the Fallen Walker to complete the event. Killing the initial yellow bar and accompanying minions will spawn a walker. The legs of the walker are one weak spot that if you do enough damage to destroy the armor, it will become stunned and reveal another weak spot. At the same time, you will see it drop a few arc charges. Picking these up will allow you to deposit it in the nearby generators that showed up creating a shield around sets of Scorch Cannons. Disabling all three shields is the heroic trigger for this event. If the trigger is met, then a second walker will get dropped in and you will have to destroy both to complete the event. A good tip for using the Scorch Cannon is that the shots can be charged up upon impact as they stick to their target. To do this, simply hold down your fire button after shooting. You can see and hear the shot charge up wherever it landed. The more it's charged, the more damage it does. If the Scorch Cannons are used effectively, then there are enough Scorch Cannons to destroy both walkers even when you are doing this event as a solo. Here is another example of the Walker event. This is on Titan and is one of two possibilities. All of the Walker events are located in small areas so try to make sure you don't get too close otherwise its melee mechanic can push you off the map or into a wall and take massive damage.
Probably one of the fastest events to complete is the Cabal Mining Drill. This event involves having guardians stand within the white circle that appears on the floor around the drill. Once you have the counter reach 100, you have completed the event. As the counter goes up, more waves of Cabal will spawn in to attack you. At around 30 to 35, a Thresher ship will spawn in, always in the same location. Destroying this ship before the event ends is the heroic trigger. Forcing the event to go heroic will spawn a large Colossus Elite Cabal, and killing that will complete the heroic form of the event. Using rockets and learning the spawning location of the Thresher ship can help in ensuring the heroic trigger is always met. Another useful tip to destroy the Thresher is to use weapons with explosive rounds. These do not have fall off damage with the explosive rounds. This allows you to destroy the Thresher regardless whatever range it is at. So once you have learnt its spawning location, you can deal a lot of damage to the Thresher without having to waste any heavy ammo. Here is another quick example of completing the Cabal Mining Drill Heroic Trigger. One of the simplest events is probably the Hive Summoning Ritual. It only spawns in one location and that's found on Titan. After starting the event, you will need to stand on the two plates being guarded by Hive Knight. Standing upon these plates charges them and removes the immunity shield the two elite wizards have, enabling you to kill them. Once they are both dead, an invisible tunnel starts and when it finishes, the Hive Elite boss will spawn. The normal event will spawn a Hive Wizard boss. However, during the time after killing two wizards and the boss spawning, two crystals spawn on top of the hive pillars. Destroying these will spawn the heroic boss instead of the wizard boss. The crystals have the same immunity shield as the wizards had and use the same method to remove them. Here is another example of triggering the heroic version of the hive summoning ritual event. The Vex Spire Construct event can be challenging when you are on your own. There will be constant waves of Vex trying to kill you, as well as sacrifice themselves to the Vex Construct that spawned. If 10 or more Vex manage to sacrifice themselves, then the event will end. On top of all this, the Heroic Trigger requires you to stand in three separate locations to charge Vex Sync Plates. If you look at the Vex Construct you are defending, you can see what could be some kind of VEX data transmission lines. Following them will lead you to a VEX sync plate for the heroic trigger. When the event goes to its heroic form, stronger and tougher VEX will spawn and Cyclops turrets will also start spawning in. However, the timer is changed to a lower time. Whilst you are stood upon the VEX charging plates for the heroic triggers, you will have a yellow bar fanatic spawn in to try and kill you or at least try and push you off the vexing plate. The yellow bar fanatic normally spawns in in the same location so as long as you check that location every now and then you should be fine. Thank you. 
On Mercury, there is only one public event that spawns, and that is the Gate Lord event. The event is pretty self explanatory with the on screen instructions. You kill an elite Vex and grab the charges it drops. You slam the charges into the two glowing Vex platforms either side from where the elite spawned. Doing this on both sides progresses the event into the next step. This involves you going to the two outer spires and doing the same thing. You kill an elite Vex and slam its charge into the centre glowing platform. Accomplishing this on both spires will spawn the Gate Lord and you can kill him normally. However, if you want the heroic form of the Gate Lord, you will have to activate either of the two spires Vex sync plates. To do this, you must have first slammed the charge for that spire. Then you will see platforms appear behind the spire and large Vex crystal things. Destroying all of the crystals quick enough will spawn more platforms allowing you to get on top of the spire. On top of the spire will be a Vex sync plate needed for the heroic trigger. The heroic gate lord will spawn an elite Vex and an immunity shield around itself. Killing the elite Vex will drop charges. Grabbing one and using the Vex jump boost nodes will send you above the gate lord to the platform you need to slam the charge into. Thank you.